I serve at the 413 Strong Program, and I started volunteering because I, I like to comfort others with the same comfort God comforted me with when I was in trouble. I really uh, took the time out during my incarceration to see God, and I, I wanted to change. When I wanted to go back inside of the prison and give back, I couldn't because of my record. And the great thing I like about 413 is, as a volunteer, you can just have, want to have a, a servant heart and give back. What makes Larry so powerful in his impact at, at 413 Strong is that on one day he's walking through the, the gym door at Mental Toughness wearing a three-piece suit saying, I'm tired of preaching funerals where some young man has been killed with gun violence and I will do everything I can to make sure that doesn't happen for another man. The next day he's coming in wearing shorts and a t-shirt and gives away his shoes that he's wearing to a guy that doesn't have running shoes. And so Larry is able to build really good connections with guys, but he's also able to stand in front of groups and say, this has to stop and there has to be justice for, for all people in our community. You know, the, when we were trying to describe what sets Larry apart, um, the word that came to my mind was love. And just the way that, that he shows up and loves the men coming through our program, he does it in such an authentic way that they can't help but to respect him and want to follow where he's taking them. I serve at the Window of Love. I started because there was a need in the community for the youth to have a meal, a snack, and to make sure they had love. I'm passionate about the Window of Love because the first thing is the Window of Love shares love, God's love. Um, I think the pandemic should have taught everyone about love. It's not about your income. It's not about if you're black or white. It should have taught you about love. Everybody was in need. I met Samaria at while I was out door knocking for my, my District 19 council, council race and got to meet some really, really great people, but I think Samaria takes the cake. I was so blown away at how s simple and, and how effective um, her service was and the fact that she just said, I'm, I'm here and I, this is what I've got to work with and we're gonna make it work and we're gonna do something. What keeps me inspired, I think, is these smiles that I see to know that I'm serving and I don't even have much. I thought you had to be a millionaire to be able to give back, to pour out into others. I gave from my heart, I gave from what I had. Volunteering at the window, it will make a difference in your life. It will change your life. You get to meet people that you may not ever met before. Because the window, we call it the window squad. Like I said, anyone who volunteers is a part of the window. So you know you're part of the window, right? Okay. Always, always, sure always. always. <laughs>I was born and raised north of Seattle, and I, I've shared this with Denise, but one of my earliest memories is walking to Seattle Mariners games with my parents. And I remember uh, we would go to those Mariners games and we would have to walk across railroad tracks from where we parked, and there were homeless people there. And I remember as a child, just it cut me to my core. It's somewhere between the unfairness of it um, and the humanity of it. Legally nominated Scott because Scott has like revamped the legal clinic um, in Rutherford County in the last couple of years. Um, he's responsible for doubling um, the amount of resources that are there for, um, for the community for people to take part in. And he was really the, the driving force in, in tandem with legal aid um, just to get more attorney volunteers um, out there at the legal clinics. And um, it's truly made a big impact in Rutherford County. So of course legal aid would dominate you. So the way that I speak to other lawyers about the clinic is I tell them what the first lawyers that influenced me tells them. We serve. That is what we do, right? Because I'm just gonna tell you that, that you're needed. And I'm gonna tell you that you, just you, dealing with all of your own issues, you have imposter syndrome, you think you can't do it, I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna be the best lawyer that person talks to, because you're gonna be the only lawyer they talk to.